Well, my next guest is a renowned comedy writer and an adjunct professor at the University of Southern California. She is also the author of the self-help guide, Get Your Butt Off My Couch and Your Hand Out of My Wallet. <laughs> <laughs> And claims there is a really serious man session happening at Epidemic Proportions. Please welcome Sonia Warfield. <laughs> well, how are you? <laughs> oh my God! You uh, explain what you mean by man session. Well, Dr. Phil, I mean, there's a real epidemic going on. Women are becoming bread earners, breadwinners, and the men aren't just, they're not stepping up, and they're not stepping up at home either. There was actually a new study out that found that middle class men do the least amount of housework, but they believe they do the most. So they're delusional. <laughs> And it's just a crushing responsibility on women to bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan, take care of the kids, take care of the house, and it's just too much. And I think men are becoming too comfortable. I think Kanye West needs to revise the lyrics of his song, Gold Digger, to now include men, okay? Yeah. Because there's a new kind of gold digger in town. Yeah. So, so give me like your top three pieces of advice to women that find themselves in that situation. Well, I really think that part of the problem is that we cover things up. We're not telling people that, no, our husband isn't working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Throw the brakes on there a minute. Okay. So you're saying your advice to women is like, if they're at the church social or a dinner party or whatever, and they say, what does your husband do? They, and he's not, they should say what? Well, they should say, you know what, he's not employed right now. He's looking for work. Do you know of anybody or anything that could possibly help him? Instead of yeah. keeping it a secret. But what if he's not looking for work? Well, if, <laughs> if you want him to be looking for work and he doesn't, and he's not looking for work actively and he should be, then that's the time to, to out him. I mean, it's not to shame him and to embarrass him, but it is to talk about the issue and not cover it up. Yeah. So you should also go on a sex strike. Well, yes, here's the thing, Dr. Phil. If enough, if enough is enough with this man and you're tired of him and you're tired of what he's doing and not doing, why do you even want to have sex with him in the first place? Sonia also lists some warning signs of an underachieving man. You said, one, he asked to move in too soon. Yeah, that basically means he's homeless, okay? <laughs> yeah. If he's trying to move in with you right away, and you might think it's cute, and you might think, oh, he loves me. He might not have anywhere else to go, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dreamer. He's all talk and no action. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. A dreamer who doesn't do anything, his dream you'll end up paying for, and that will become your nightmare. Yeah. Okay, is it, un you, women tell me, is it uncool if a guy pulls out a coupon? Uh, if, it's, if it's right away, if you've been dating them for a while, then yeah, I understand. But if it's like on the first date and he pulls out a coupon, come on. You tried to use a coupon on our honeymoon. No, I didn't. <laughs> I remember. I didn't. Remember? We, we, were, we were gooning you on that. I it know, was a, but it was, I, I haven't forgotten it. You go to a cheap casino, they give you a free beef stew dinner. <laughs> And we were telling her we were going to take her there to get her a free beef stew dinner. She thought we were serious. No, not that one. I knew that was a joke. It was He's happy for you to buy your own engagement. Turn her mic off. No. <laughs>